In this section, we will introduce five new terms, properties of sets, namely open, closed, bounded, convex, and connected. To give definitions of these terms and some meaning, we will need the term neighborhood, and to define neighborhood, we will need distance. So if we have two points, x and y, from some space Rn, we can consider the distance between these two points, which is a generalization of the Pythagorean theorem. We take the coordinates xi of the point x and yi of the point y, we take the difference, we take the square, and we sum, and we take the square root. In R1, or R, this is just square root of x minus 1 square, which is the absolute value of x minus 1. In R2, this is the generalization. This is the uh, Pythagorean theorem itself. This is the distance of x. This is the distance of y. When we square the distances, well, um, x, y, here x and y are two different points. Here we should, um, yeah, okay, this is the point capital X, this is the point capital Y, and this is um, Y1 minus X1, and this is Y2 minus X2. And when we take squares and sum and square root, then this is this distance. And this is a natural generalization to higher dimensional spaces. When we have distance, we can consider a neighborhood U You remember how we defined neighborhood in the first semester in mathematics A. That was an open interval from A or X minus delta up to X plus delta. So this is the line or interval in R. And in Rn, the neighborhood U of a point X is the set of all the points Y in Rn such that the distance of these two points is less than some number, let's call it delta. And then we write the radius of the neighborhood delta as a lower index in the neighborhood u. u comes from the German term Umgebung. Sometimes instead of u, uh, some authors you use the letter B from the English ball. So in R, this is just the old neighborhood as before. In R2, if we have a point like that, then the collection of all the points that are not more distant than delta is the circle with radius delta and center x. Well, and the ball is, it is sometimes called ball because in Rn this is just the ball around the point x. And then we can consider the punctured neighborhood or deleted neighborhood if we if we remove the point X itself. That means we leave the center. Well, and now when we have neighborhood, we can define the term open set. This is the generalization of the term open interval. If you remember what is open interval, say from 5 to 7, 
This is the set of all the points x from R such that x is greater than 5 and less than 7. So this can be visualized as a segment, as an interval between 5 and 7. But the endpoints 5 and 7 do not belong to the open interval. How to generalize this to a more complicated, to more higher dimensional spaces? One interesting property of such an open interval is that when you consider some point in this open interval, then you can find some neighborhood which is in the center. Say from the point 5.2, you can consider the set 5.1 up to 5.3. If you are close to 5, then the interval must be small, but there is always some neighborhood of the point. Well, and this can serve as a definition of an open set. We say the set, set S is open, a subset from Rn, if for every point in the set there exists some neighborhood in the set. An example of an open set may be rectangle without the boundary, without the four segments. Because for every point in the set you can find some neighborhood which is inside. On the other hand, if you include these segments, or just two of them, this is no more open, because for these points, any neighborhood will go out, will contain uh, points that are not in the set. So this is open. We say a set is closed, if the complement is open. And complement of a set is the set of all the points that do not belong to the set itself. And an example, if you consider the rectangle, including these four segments, including the boundary, then this is not open, but it is closed because its complement this is the complement of this set and this complement is open because for any point you can think of neighborhood which is in the set some sets are neither open nor closed If you consider a rectangle with just part of the boundary, this is not open and this is not closed. <coughs> I have used several times the term boundary, which is quite natural, but it has its definition. Boundary of a set if the set is S, then the boundary is sometimes denoted by delta S or BD as boundary. Boundary of a set is the set of all the points that have non-empty intersection with the set and non-empty intersection with its complement. If you don't like non-empty intersection, you can say boundary of a set is the set of all the points for which every neighborhood has at least one common point in the set and at least one point which is not of the set. So for the square or rectangle like that, boundary consists of these four segments. If you have an L like that, then the bound, 
Then the boundary of this set is the curve around the maps. So we have open, closed, now bounded. Bounded set means a set of all the points with a such that such that you can think of a large circle and the set is inside. So if you consider a set like that, then this set is bounded because you can consider a circle like that. The circle may be large but with a finite radius and this set is inside the circle. On the other hand, if you consider a line or other curves, say parabola or hyperbola, then no circle, no finite circle, can be thought of uh, around this line. So it goes out of any circle. So a line is an example of a set which is not bounded. And then we have the term connected. We say a set is connected if we can connect any two points in the set using a curve in the set. So an example. Uh, say the circle is a connected set because you can connect any two points with a, a curve in the set. But if you consider the union of two circles, union of two disjoint circles, then this is no more connected because if you consider a pair of points, one in either subset, then you cannot connect them using a curve in the set. And the term convex means a set is convex if any two points in the set can be connected with a straight line in the set. So an example, a circle is convex because any two points can be connected with a straight segment in the set. But something of a shape of a banana is not convex because these points cannot be connected with a straight line in the set. So while apple is cold, orange is connected, banana is not connected. Oh, uh, sorry, it's connected but it's not uh, convex. Thank you.